life in the ocean needs a place to call home. Structure provides security from predators and a foundation for life to build upon. If done correctly, planning to put a man-made structure in the water can actually support sea life. It's called an artificial reef. The concept is an old one. It dates back to the Punic War in the Mediterranean in 264 BC. Throughout history, other artificial reefs were used to attract fish for better fishing. Today, most divers know an artificial reef as a great place to dive and explore. In Grand Cayman, one of the best examples of an artificial reef is the USS Kittiwake. This submarine rescue boat was placed in the water off Seven Mile Beach and became an instant hit with local wildlife and divers. Artificial reefs, like the Kittiwake, can help take the pressure off natural coral reefs that may have been negatively impacted by tourism. They can also drive the local economy by creating undersea landmarks that divers will pay to see. Each potential artificial reef is heavily prepared for environmental safety before it is put in the water, so they will not pose a danger to marine life. You'll find artificial reefs all over the world in a variety of forms, adding value to something that would otherwise go to waste. I'm Jessica Harvey for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation.